In this video, we will discuss how to correctly reflect on the Quran without twisting its meaning or misinterpreting it. To watch the full length explanation and discussion on the same topic, visit the channel Hamza Andreas Tsortsis. The link is given in the description. Number one, there is a difference between the meaning of the Quranic text and the contemplation of that meaning. In any language, there is a meaning of the text. The meaning is further divided into two things. Number one, the reflection over the meaning. Number two, the reality of the meaning. Let's give you an example to clarify the difference. If I tell you open the door, you will instantly understand the meaning. That is reflection or understanding which is a function of the brain. The understanding will become reality if you actually go and open the door. So in conclusion, understanding is the function of the mind and reality is the function of remaining senses. We can understand the meaning, but we may not know the reality of that meaning. Misinterpretation. Now, if I tell you, please open the door, but you start eating an apple, you will be misinterpreting the meaning against all the possible interpretations. So you cannot interpret the language without following its rules and context. In similar light, you can interpret the Quran without following the rules of its interpretation and context. Reflection. So if I tell you, open the door and you start thinking, why did he ask me to open the door and make a few assumptions about it? For example, maybe it is cold. This would be reflection over the understanding. Rule of reflection. Let us give you an example. If you start saying maybe he wants to close the door because Trump became a president, this would be a wrong reflection because it has no correlation with the actual statement. So reflection has to be done in accordance with the statement's context. Number one, you must know the meaning because if you don't understand the text itself, you cannot translate nor reflect over it correctly. So language is the key. Number two, you must reflect over the meaning according to its context. So let us now apply this to the Quran. To understand the Quran without twisting its meaning, we must apply following rules. Number one, we must translate it according to the classical Arabic language and understand its context and we cannot interpret it the way we want, because in that case we are applying our meaning to Quran rather than understanding the Quran. Number two, if a verse has multiple meanings, the correct meaning is known by the author, and because the Quran is revealed by Allah through Prophet Muhammad and the companions are the first to directly learn it from the Prophet, we must refer back to the Hadith and the first generations. Number three, you cannot say that among all the possible reflections, your reflection is the correct one.